everyone, this is June Blender at Sapien Technologies, and this is PowerShell Help Writer 2017, a tool that creates a professional environment for writing help files for PowerShell. You can edit existing help files or let PowerShell Help Writer create help files for your module based on the module code. PowerShell Help Writer examines the module and for each function, commandlet, workflow, or sim command, it reads in the commandlet attributes, parameters, and parameter attributes so that the information in your help file always matches the code in your module. Beginning in PowerShell Help Writer 2017, we have a new rebuild feature that rebuilds your help file from scratch when the code in your module changes. Let me show you how to use it. Here I have a culture parameter with a parameter type of string. I've changed that in my module, so let me rebuild it. I'll go up here and click the Rebuild button. Click OK. And now, when I come back to that culture parameter, it has a new parameter type, along with any other changes that were specified in the code. In this video, I'll show you how to use the Rebuild feature and how to rebuild your help files from code in the same version of a module when it changes, or rebuild the help file when you get a new version of the same module. So let's begin. To use advanced features like the rebuild feature, I need a module project. So I'm going to create one for my module. I'll click File, New, New Help Project from Module, then I'll select the module and the correct module version and click export and create. And PowerShell Help Writer has created for me an about help topic template. You can see it here. And an XML help template reading in any help that I had defined in my module in common based help. The information in my help file is accurate because it's read it from the module, including the date and culture parameters in this function. So now I'll work on my module help. I'm going to add a nicer parameter description for this culture parameter. And while I've been working on my help file, I've also been working on my module. Let me bring it up here in PowerShell Studio. And here's my culture hero module and my get culture date function. But you'll notice that my date parameter is no longer mandatory. My culture parameter has a new parameter type and I might have made some other changes while working on this module. So it's time to update my help file to the help in my module. The rebuild feature will build my help file from scratch it will actually run get command and get help. So it's very important that before I rebuild, I make sure that my help, the help that I just wrote, is associated with the functions in my module. First, over here in the project pane, let me open my module folder, and you'll see that it has no help in it yet. I've been working in a help project. If I open the help project folder, Here's my help, but I don't yet have help in the module directory. So in the project pane, I'll go over here to the deploy button and click it. That copies the help files that I've been working on to the correct language specific subdirectory in my module. And now when I open the module folder, my help files are there. That's step one. Step two is making sure that every function in the module is associated with the XML help file. Let's bring up PowerShell Studio. And I will replace this comment based help with an external help comment keyword that associates my get culture date function with the name of my new help file, and I'll save. Now the last thing is to go in here in my properties pane and determine whether I want to rebuild using path 
or name. Rebuild in PowerShell Help Writer has two options, Rebuild using Path and Rebuild using Name. When you want to rebuild from the same version of your module, use Rebuild using Path. PowerShell Help Writer rebuilds by using the full path of your module, its module base, including any version subdirectories. If you want to rebuild the newest version of your module, use Rebuild using Name. When you do, PowerShell Help Writer runs a get module command on the name of your module and gets the newest module and rebuilds your help file from the newest version of that module. In this case, we want to rebuild from the same module, so we'll use Rebuild using Path. So back here in PowerShell Help Writer, I'll make sure that Rebuild Using is set to Path. And now I can click Rebuild and click OK. And now when I look at those parameters, the culture parameter has the new parameter type and the date parameter is no longer required. That's Rebuild Using Path. Let me show you the alternative rebuild using name. So I've been working on this module for a while and now my version 2 of the module has become stable enough that I want to update my help project to the code in version 2. Let me show you how to do that. In PowerShell Help Writer, in the Properties pane, I'll change rebuild using from path to name. That tells PowerShell Help Writer that I want the latest version of the module, the module with this name, regardless of its path. Then I'll go up here to Refresh Module Info. It tells me that PowerShell Help Writer has found a new version of my module, version 2, and it asks me what I want to do. If I were to deploy and rebuild help at this point, I would replace my nice working version of my help file with an empty help file because at this point version 2 has no help. So instead, I'll click Update Module Information Only. That tells PowerShell Help Writer that I want to focus on that module, but I don't want to build help from it yet, and I'll click OK. And you could see over here, I'm going to drag this way out, that the module path has changed to 2.0 and the module version has changed to 2. So I know I'm working with the right version of the module. So when I go up to the project pane and click deploy, I'll be copying the versions of the help file from version 1 to version 2. And now when I open the module folder, it's the folder for version 2, and it has my help files in it. The next thing I want to do is to make certain that the functions in my module are associated with this help file. Let's grab PowerShell Studio. Here's my version 1, and here's my version 2 and the external help comment keyword is already there and it's associated with a correct help file name. So that part is done. And now I click rebuild. This time I want to deploy and rebuild from the module. I click OK. And now when I look at those parameters, I have my date parameter. My culture parameter now takes an array of culture info objects, and I have a new quiet parameter, and it's time to write a help description for it. So that's rebuild in PowerShell Help Writer 2017. I can rebuild using path to update the same module version, or rebuild using name to update to the newest module version. It's all in PowerShell Help Writer 2017. It's brand new, and we're really looking for your feedback, so let us know how you like it. And thanks for listening.